They say that people are hiding behind the brightest of the smiles I'm flashing them my teeth, I haven't seen you in a while I wish this was just a trial, and I really miss your style Your interest, your Pinterest, the way you went down the aisle But life goes on, I can sit here and just miss you Or just think about the issues Either way, I'm gonna need a box of tissues But I promise you, I'll never sit down and write just to upset or diss you The best is all that I wish you, because Heartbreak is tough no matter which side of the fence Hanging aside, I know that we were always friends Don't wanna jot these notes of the other ones expense again i'm wishing you the best and here's the hoping we can mend i hope you smile when you feel that times are tough i hope you smile when you think about the love i hope you smile reminiscing what it was when you think through enough i hope these times make you tough i hope you smile when you feel Hey, what is up everybody? If you don't know me by now, my name is Owen Doyle. And in this video, I'm gonna break down a few scenes from that little intro TikTok music video I just recently shot. So the gear I chose to shoot this video with is the Sony FX6. Now one, I need more practice with it. And two, I just love how everything's set up on it. And the lens I was rocking was a 24 to 70 G Master and a 35 millimeter Sigma. So without further delay, let's hop right into these frames and I'll break them down a little bit. All right, so to break these scenes down here, I'm gonna start with this one. We're gonna do some indoor scenes and then we'll switch over to some outdoor scenes. So for this setup here, I have my light right here. So the reason I don't care that you can see the light in this scene is because I shot in a four by five ratio, which is something roughly like this. So, so it doesn't matter that you can see this light here, but what it does, the light up in the corner here is just contrasts with this window. So the light is set to 3400 Kelvin. My white balance is 4300 Kelvin in the camera. And this window is sitting at about 5600. But with these blinds closed, it's more so around like 4900 Kelvin. So it just adds a little bit of coolness compared to this light here. And this light gives a nice glow right here to pop them off of this black piano just a little bit and pop them off of the background in general. So if we look at this shot as well, same thing. He's just popping off of the background right here. Now, I didn't want him to be a silhouette, so I made sure he was lit up fairly nicely right here. That way he just doesn't fade off in all this black that's all in these regions here. All right, so I'm gonna break down a couple outdoor scenes to show you guys how I shot those. So first thing, we'll do this barn shot here. Now this is a pretty cool concept. Uh, I left this light on in here. Now that I'm looking back at it, I don't really like it on. So that's the one thing I wish I changed with this shot is that this light was off. So it was just pure black in there. So the reason I like this shot so much is because the sun is up here for one, but it was an overcast day. So it makes for super, super even, nice flat tones. That way I don't have to deal with bright highlights up in here, hard shadows over in here. And with this door here it would make a super hard shadow right here and he would pretty much fade off into this background right here so because of the overcast skies that helped out so much with this shot right here and if we go up into the close same thing super even highlights popping off of this background again wish this light was gone right here but oh well it's not all right so for this next outdoor shot i have the sun up here off camera but it didn't really matter if the sun was on camera anyways because it was a very overcast day so you really couldn't even see the sun anyway. Again, he's popping off the background. So I wasn't sure how I really wanted to color grade this. So I just pushed some coolness into these highlights in here. So like these would be highlights, these would be highlights. I just pushed a lot of coolness into all of these here. So with these highlights being very blue and cool, I made sure his skin tones were really warm and kind of punchy, that way he stuck off of the background and just didn't blend in with the rest of it. So that's this scene broken down. Let's break down one more and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, so for this last indoor scene here, I have my light set up in the corner, left-hand side here. And the reason I did that is because there was a chandelier directly above us right here with some nice warm tungsten lights shining down and I decided to leave those on and then just add in a little punch from my Aperture 300X over in the corner here. Wow, I am terrible at drawing with this mouse here. But 
Anyway, with my aperture set up, it created these nice glows on this whiskey bottle here. It just keeps it from blending in and disappearing in all these dark areas on the shot here. But the main focus was this glass, so I made sure this was lit up real nice. I do like this highlight to shadow roll off. You can see it start to get darker right about this area. And then by the time it reaches the t-shirt, it's just pure black. Cause this kind of acts as a negative fill, this black t-shirt here. So I really like how this shot came out. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. And if you're new here, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hey.